what is going on guys welcome back to another episode of life on the compound where we are striving every day to make our place just work for itself grow us food give us entertainment and you know just help it just make things easier setting up the outdoor kitchen and hooking up the water and electricity to it and all that stuff right so dad gave me his utility trailer under the conditions that he can use it whenever he needs it whatever that's fine which means I don't have to convert that into a flat top I can put all the bungs and stuff back on it and make it a dedicated boat trailer for the 12 foot John but there's always a but there is a big su surprise in the works it's going to take time it's going to take work it'll be content uh, but it'll be awesome when we get it done and it won't take long so here yesterday me and my wife got up at 8 30 in the morning we went and walked like 2.2 miles came back picked vegetables out of the garden she made breakfast uh, we pulled the window unit out of the dining room because it wasn't needed in there anymore and put it in the boys room just to help our air conditioning unit because we did upgrade the air conditioning unit on this house but I think it is just at max capacity with the house it was almost twice as big as one that was on here but it's just max capacity so we have a window unit going in our room because we're the farthest room uh, away from the unit and then the only other place that is as far away from the unit is the boys room so we put one in there as well and for the second night in a row my youngest son slept in his bed by himself the entire night because it was like a constant 72 degrees. I think I turned it up to 74, but it was a constant 74 in their room and he had his blanket on him and he didn't feel the need to have anybody. This is amazing. So just clicking off things on the checklist. And then my dad showed up in the middle of that, surprised all of us. He helped me install the window unit, came out here and fixed the outlet for the pool so it is no longer running on massive like this thick of an extension cord from the house um, it's actually running on its own outlet and it is looking amazing uh, my wife got the ph up she got the chlorine in it was a little high yesterday but it's perfect today we have family coming over today uh, i have a butt in the smoker right now and two spatchcock chickens are going in around noon this has been cooking since like 9 45 this morning i semi melted two sticks of butter butter on the bottom of this so on the aluminum foil and I'm taking our homemade my wife's homemade barbecue sauce which has got my homemade dry rub in it hey. Adam. Hey. Hey. wrapping Good. the butt playing with my meat you want to help Touching butts. Grabbing ass. I'm always touching butts. You like to grab ass a lot. Especially Brian. And this is the mustard seeking. All right, we got two spatchcock chickens. This one was covered in mustard in my rub. This one was just my rub. That's the pulled pork or the pork butt that has a bone in it still. 
been smoking for a while. Just added more fuel because I about let it run out. Man, it's gonna be so good, I can't wait. So when I wrapped the pork, I left the butter out here for a couple hours and it melted in this Georgia heat. So I poured it over the chicken and add a little bit of the homemade barbecue sauce to it in hopes that it'll keep it nice and juicy. So then we went over and uh, picked up the trailer. It's, um, it's probably a 12 foot, I think it's a 12 foot trailer. Uh, he had to put this like ladder rack thing on here for long like 16 foot lumber and ladders and stuff. It was his utility trailer. That uh, little contraption there that he used to secure his four wheeler and stuff actually belongs on my boat trailer. Uh, it came off of that one. Yeah, because it's this piece right here that I would be taking off and it's just bolted in. So I'm probably gonna take this off and put it back on the boat trailer since that is gonna be a boat trailer and I'm gonna need that. Um, but where I cut the tongue down on the boat trailer to make it a 16 foot trailer, I'm gonna have to put two feet back onto it. And that's as far as I'm going into telling y'all the plans for now. But there are some exciting things coming down the line, guys. I'm excited. Um, we got a little bit of work to do to the old daily. Um, probably won't film any of that because no one wants to watch that. It's boring stuff, right? But work on the white truck is about to get started again, and we will be fil filming that as well. Also, we've got some more fishing content coming. If that's why you're here, please stick around. All right, I couldn't do it. I have to go ahead and show you. That's right, I got a package in from Six Cents. I kind of felt dirty ordering from them because once I find something that I like that works for me, I'm kind of brand loyal. And I like to support the stuff that entertains me and feeds me information. Not necessarily a brand, more as brands that certain guys that I watch use. So some of it's gonna be Guggen Squad, some of it's gonna be Lube, some of it's gonna be Power Pro Braid. I haven't used Six Cents. I the only thing I've used from Six Cents is the Divine Underspin, which I had a half and a quarter, and I lost both of them. And of course, I made the order before I lost the quarter, so I only replaced the half. So to begin, and this may be the same color. I can't remember. I think it is. This is the Sexified Shad Half Ounce Divine Underspin that I think would work really well with all these uh, swim baits I've been getting. Um, and to go with that, I got a Half Ounce Divine Swim Jig Shad Ice. I got a 3 8 ounce Divine Swim Jig Pro Blue. And then I got, it says Divine Braid Swim Jig, but I don't remember how big it is. I wanna say it's 3 eighths, but it could be a half. So yeah, I know, usually when I get uh, baits in, I show you, and you are actually gonna get to see me use these. I just don't know when if I want to say it'll be the next video but it could be the video after that I don't know how these are following in chronological order in the upload because I make the videos and I upload them into I upload them privately as I go so I can make space in my device to keep working because I am actually working from my phone and not my GoPros in a computer yet so I'm doing everything on my phone so I clear videos as soon as I make them to save space so I can keep making content. And so I have them scheduled and I try to schedule them in order. Um, but I already started filming the other video that you'll actually see those baits in. I was actually waiting on those baits. So sneak peek there for the following video. Um, I actually have some more coming. 
that'll be here in a couple of days but i will be opening it up in the other video and all of it everything all three things that's right three things will be combined to see if we can get on an epic hunt for some large mouse so like i said if you're liking the channel if you're here for the fishing of the channel please hit that subscribe button stick around check out the videos give us a like if you're enjoying it because that really helps boost my morale and uh yeah I, that's probably going to wrap this up by the time you've i've cut in all the cooking stuff it's going to be a long video so i really do appreciate it if you've made it this far let me know you made it this far by uh just saying made it in the comments that's all you gotta do uh, i really appreciate it so uh we're just gonna go ahead and wrap it up it's kind of weird i normally finish it with fishing but whatever thanks for hanging out with us as we live life on the compound until next time catch you on the two and two